Hi, this is Anju. Um, I'm very sorry I haven't done a video almost a week now and I know uh, some of you have been waiting for my bed CT scans. I have them and that's my today's health update about. It's just a bed CT scan report. Oh, also I want to talk about a little bit how I have been feeling. So. Uh, I have not been feeling well. I really, really would have wanted to make a video, but uh, honestly, uh, after getting the bed CT scan, uh, I had quite a psychological shock, I guess, to uh, get used to the idea of the new news. Uh, and also, uh, I have been having a lot of nausea, dizziness, uh, more nausea, fatigue. Ah, by the way, if you hear a little bit of noise down the background, it's my, uh, it's my laundry. Uh, but it's because I'm so behind with things that I'm trying to multitask things. Because today is honestly the first day I'm able to get uh, things done because I'm feeling a little bit better. I also had to take a Ritalin because I was so tired. Um, and Ritalin helps me kind of get going a little bit. Uh, I had nausea, I took nausea medications and they have been starting to work now so that's why I feel better. Anyway, uh, I don't have a long time uh, to do this video. Uh, I'm going to try to get ready, give you a quick update on my health and then I have to run to MRI, I have to do an MRI scan. Right, so this is my that CT scan update. So uh, I guess there are good news, bad news. Uh, what do you want first? I guess, uh, let me just start with the bad news. So the bad news is that the cancer, um, as I had thought and felt, uh, the cancer had grown and now it's actually inside my liver. Also it had grown in lymph nodes and uh, spread also in my bones. But the good news is that it doesn't look that my lungs have uh, cancer and also my brain doesn't have cancer. So if you didn't know, breast cancer metastasizes to uh, bones, to liver, lungs and brain and of course to lymph nodes because lymph nodes are like filters inside your body and everything just gets stuck in there and I guess uh, the cancer cells kind of get stuck in my lymph nodes because my lymph nodes are like uh oh what is this I don't think you're supposed to go through things and so they kind of stop cancer cells to spread but unfortunately what happens is that they kind of accumulate in the lymph nodes and eventually the cancer cells break loose from the lymph nodes right uh, I guess um, I am thinking now of giving you more detailed update exactly uh, what is where. Um, oh, I'm from, starting to feel nausea a little bit. Uh, so if I move too much, if I like move too quickly, I get a little bit nauseated. So I have to kind of take it easy with this video. Right. As I said, it's good and bad news and my doctor already uh, has uh, chemo uh, medication ready. I'm going to start chemo in a few days uh, in an infusion center. So infusion center means uh, infusion center is where all the cancer medications are administered. For example, I get my shot to uh, keep my bones strong also in infusion center even though it's not technically directly the cancer medication but it's right, you know, related to it because the cancer is in my bones and they give me shots to uh, make my bones stronger and so they administer it in infusion center and also the main thing that they do in infusion center they give intravenous uh, chemo medication so my last uh, chemo medications i have been able to take them at home but now i'm going to have to get it intravenously so right straight to the vein which is going to be a problem. I'm not actually going to give a lot of details about my new drug, 
because that's going to be the next health, health update and uh, there is so also I cannot talk about too much is because I haven't had time yet to kind of investigate it uh, in detail and also once I actually feel it you know I feel the side effects how bad it is I can actually give you a kind of good idea how it feels and honestly I can't even remember what the drug was called I wrote everything down, I have a lot of notes, but I just can't remember what it's called, and it doesn't matter at the moment. Right, so let me just give you, I tried to, uh, basically this is a scan, the red CT scan, it's in very uh, detailed medical terms, right, and if you look closely, I have like, uh, my notes are here, because I have been translating it, <laughs> and then I kind of rewrote it, into a English, right, there's a medical language and there's the English language, right, uh, so I want to give like a detailed update about exactly where the cancer is. So one thing I want to say is that uh, I felt that the chemo is not working anymore, the last chemo I was taking, uh, right, the pills, um, and I feel like it was just poisoning myself for no reason and going through that all that horror because the cancer actually had just not cared about that poison at all. The poison was just poisoning me and not the cancer at all. And I f feel bad that I didn't demand the, the, the scans a little bit earlier. Right? Because I feel then we would have uh, stopped the cancer a little bit earlier and maybe the cancer wouldn't have advanced as far. Right, so the main thing is that, right, it's in my liver. Uh, the scan report says that it's in multiple locations. Uh, so multiple means that there's too many to count, but they also give a, uh, like, actual size of two of the bigger lumps in my liver. So one is almost the size of a gold ball. It's 4.5 uh, times 3.3 centimeters. So the diameter of golf ball, golf ball is 4.3 centimeters, right? And then the second biggest lump in my liver is 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 centimeters. But my doctor said that I shouldn't actually feel them because unless the cancer uh, lumps are at the edges of the liver, where the nerves are inside the liver, you don't actually feel the pain. And so I don't really maybe feel the pain, but I definitely, I feel like I feel nauseated and I think it's maybe related to that. Uh, the good thing is um, that it's possible that the chemo might actually uh, make those cancer lumps smaller, so that's really that I'm hoping. Okay, uh, so the bones, uh, where in the bones is the cancer? So my bones really are resolved with cancer, so they are, uh, it's in my lower back. It's basically my spine, my lower spine, my whole spine, uh, my pelvis bone, the wings of the pelvis bone, the uh, right thigh bone, uh, ah, then uh, the sternum, so the sternum is this part, that's the part between the rib cage, right, so this part has cancer in it, and then the tops of my arm bones, and then my skull bone has cancer in it. <sighs> Horrible, horrible. It's all over the place. Right, and then it's in my lymph nodes, right? As uh, it's in my neck, right? The lumps. Uh, actually, I feel like originally I felt like three lumps. Uh, the uh, a couple weeks ago when I made the video, but now I feel more lumps than three, so I feel like it's growing, cool. spreading. Uh, then I have lymph nodes are f with cancer that are near my lungs and also near my lower part of the abdomen or behind the abdomen well it's just it's just here and there uh so it said that cancer kind of is a, either a grower or a spreader and my cancer is a spreader because originally um i had three lumps in my breast when they first found it it wasn't just one big one, it was like three smaller ones. It looks like the way it's going, growing in my body, it's also it's just spreading, not so much just growing in size. 
brand so the good thing what my uh, doctor said that is we definitely have a lot of options uh, according to her uh, to cherry pick still uh, among the different drugs to fight the cancer and she said like which side effects you don't want and I said well I don't really care about the side effects as long as the um, medication actually works and she, she said you know you're in a position where you can still cherry pick which side effects you don't want right and I said well I don't really care just pick something yourself and so she picked some some medication so as far as I know that new uh, chemo drug that she's going to admin administer to me uh, sorry there's a phone call just a second it's just some uh, stupid phone call I hate those phone calls where uh, it's just like um, it's not even a person who's calling it's like automated <sighs> oh okay well I can't even remember where I was oh I got sidetracked okay so it is what it is let me put a little bit of makeup on um, right so actually I tried to get an MRI last Friday today is Wednesday but the crazy stuff is is that I went to go to the get my MRI right they put a gown on me because it's a sed sedated MRI I can't just go there and just lie down I'm just too claustrophobic for it and so uh, they would sedate me and so last Friday they got IV in they struggled like half an hour with it I'm not kidding they just kept like I still have enormous amount of like uh, ugly uh, needle marks where it's just like uh, you can see it um, looks like I'm some kind of a drug addict right so where it's just, they were just sticking it in and they couldn't get the ne needle into the vein and they were trying again and again and again it was just horrible and they can use only this arm because this arm can't be used because lymph nodes are removed underneath from it and because of that you can't use this arm for uh, taking uh, even the blood pressure can't even get the blood pressure from it uh, right and sometimes they forget I usually don't never forget but uh, right after the surgery I remember one time a nurse was trying to take blood pressure from this R and the machine wasn't giving any reading and the nurse was going on like what's wrong with the machine is it empty this something is really wrong it's just not working and then finally I remembered oh no you're not supposed to do it because this arm just doesn't give you reading right so <laughs> Right, and so I was really scared because uh, you can get like lymphedema from it if you just kind of mess with it. If you start trying to get the blood pressure from it or if you try to get blood from it or anything. So this arm is untouchable. Right, this also means that I have to get all my uh, intravenous uh, drug medication, uh, chemo drugs into this arm. Right, but it's already very difficult to get IV in, to get blood from it. Uh, so I'm going to get a port soon. As soon as possible, first I have to actually see the, uh, the surgeon, which is I think is stupid. Because what's the point of seeing a surgeon like actually face to face? Uh, putting a board in is a very standard procedure, so they can just put board into anybody. But no, they want me to actually see the surgeon, the surgeon to see me, and then me paying the copay, and then they can make a final appointment. Right, but that will take some time, so I'm going to get the first uh, chemo drugs I'm going to have to get without the port and I have to suffer through it. Usually the nurses in the infusion center are very good with veins, very good, like they're the best. So they usually do magic and they can usually find a vein, but my veins are so shut down that even they might not be able to do it easily. It's just what happens is that I end up being a pin cushion. They just keep trying and trying, right? It's extremely painful. It's horrible. Right? I'm not looking forward to it. And today, all oh, right. I was talking about MRI. Now I remember. So right, they got the MRI IV in, and then they came. They were about to sedate me, and you know, let's go to the MRI scan. And then some official came in and said, "I'm sorry, but uh, unfortunately, we cannot do it today. We don't have enough nurses." So they were just overbooked or something and I had to leave. I was so pissed off that I put my clothes on, I ripped my IV off, there was blood everywhere. I, was just, I just walked out because I was just like so pissed off. 
And then yesterday they called, they were apologizing and uh, they were like, yes, we can try to fix it as soon as possible. So they got me an uh, appointment for today. So today that's what I'm about to do in about 10 minutes. I hope I get a little bit of makeup on. I don't know, just, just a tiny bit. So I only have, I don't want to put too much. There's no need, but I just look at this under eye area. I look just so uh, tired and sickly and my nose is closed. If you notice, let me just go blow my nose again, just a second. Okay, right. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of makeup, not too much, because if we need it. And you notice my my bangs are still not cut because I haven't been able to go to the hairdresser because I'm not been well enough to do it. Like for example, yesterday when I went to pick up my daughter, I was so nauseated that the only thing I was able to do is just pick up my daughter, even though I needed to go to grocery, I needed to go to do the hairdresser stuff. I need to do a lot of things and I just can't get stuff done. Okay, I'm using camera as a mirror, but this, oh, and I don't know why I'm using my fingers. I have just perfectly fine. Sponge is a sponge that is ready and moist that I washed yesterday and very moist today. So just stay online, <laughs> stay a few more minutes, or stay, keep looking, keep watching my video. I still want to talk a few things about my, uh, my health, if I remember. My, can you hear this? This is my centrifuge from. Uh, well, good thing is it's almost done because I wanted to um, put it in a dryer right before I leave. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to multitask again. It's very difficult that when I have a, like a good day, I try to do several things and just kind of catch up. I'm not really a perfectionist. I'm more like done is better than perfect <laughs> type of girl. Because, you know, I think after you have like a baby, um, you really get it. You become done is better than perfect type of girl, even if you might be a complete perfectionist before it. See, look at my bangs. They look like they are filthy, even though I washed my hair like yesterday evening. But because they are like stupid length, they look like whatever. put some concealer underneath my eyes. I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape. Oh. So one thing what my um, daughter is going to do is I'm going to get a war guardant, guardant. Is that what you call it? Guardant? So basically it's a blood test, blood collection kit. So what it means is that they're going to test, next time I'm going to go get blood, which is like, I think not tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah. So I'm going to on Friday. I'm going to uh, before, right before I'm going to uh, get my infusion shot. I'm going to go have to get blood because they always have to check your blood before they do any kind of infusion on you. So um, can you be sad? I have to check. Can you say infusion? On you? Uh, so basically, before they administer any chemo drugs to you, they always do blood tests. And so this time I'm going to have to give them this blood kit because so my doctor gave it to me and then I have to give it to the person administering the blood test which is kind of weird because it's like it's the same building the doctor and the person who takes my blood is in the same building and they're very close but some reason I have to take it to them personally and then they will send it off and okay so what is it for so it's basically if you don't know it's going to test mutations uh, in the cancer so specific cancer that I have it's going to test do you have any kind of mutations right so in case uh, why is it good because sometimes if your cancer has some sort of mutation there might be specific uh, medication very effective or not so effective but basically it can give you extra uh, time when it comes to living uh, because of the specific mutation, right? 
and so ho and also another thing is it's good to actually know the new stations because all the time new drugs are coming out depending on what mutations you have so they are making uh, progress every day basically right. what do you have to do you see talking and doing this and that or okay let me put on some Laura Messier foundation foundation but um Lucent setting powder, setting powder, that's what it's called. Losing work. Washing machine is doing its job again. <laughs> Laura Geller. That's my favorite. Why do I always use the same? I don't know. I have so many different blushes. I always use the same stuff. I have to start using different stuff. I always feel like if I would make a video, I would make myself try new things and then learn. have a little bit of the color <laughs> okay so I have to do my eyebrows unfortunately my eyebrows are getting thinner and thinner, thinner so my new um, new medication apparently can you see this is where the lumps are actually but I think you can't see I'm trying to see if you can see it from the camera what is this no it's just shadows now so uh the new medication is going to thin my hair even more means my eyebrows are going to get even more thinner i really have to power up with that like this uh, for my eyelashes i have been like the lazy i haven't really been bothering using it for a while i have to start using it again oh so by the way my uh, night time routine is coming up soon I'm hoping that I'm able to upload again a lot of videos, but who knows. But basically, uh, the thing is that I was a little bit kicked over because of the PET CT scan. Like, I had to mentally absorb the new news, I had to kind of get used to it and several days i was just almost not able to move at all like i guess that's kind of person i am i kind of internalize it and yeah but i think once i start getting the chemo i'm going to uh the cancer hopefully is going to go back a little bit i'm going to start feeling better and i'm going to feel positive not just physically better but my mentally i'm going to get better and I have so many ideas uh, what I want to do videos about. I can't wait to do it. I just hope I have enough help. Also, please, please, please suggest any kind of ideas that you really want me to uh, do a video about. I'm really happy to do it because it's interesting to me uh, to learn what you want to do. Because I would have never done a video about my morning and night routine. It would have never occurred to me be that anybody would be interested to see that, right? And so please, if you have something that you think you want to see me or know about me, or maybe just questions you want me to answer, I have some suggestions from you, so don't worry, uh, I have them on my to-do list, and hopefully I will get there soon. Okay, now I have to still do my eye. Uh, also, uh, if you noticed, I haven't... Uh, I responded to your comments uh, it's because I have been do it do it I think I haven't even read all your comments but uh, I hope to get to them start getting to them today once I get back from the MRI if I well it depends how I'm going to feel today because my real goal is to really get 
this up today, this video, but if I don't, then I will put it up tomorrow. Right. So you might actually see this video that is done on Wednesday, on Thursday. And then I'm hoping to actually start answering or comment, uh, commenting back to your comments. <laughs> I love your comments. Uh, you make me, you have no idea how much your support really supports me. And I actually didn't expect it because the reason I started this channel is because I want to leave something back uh, for my daughter. I want to kind of document my last journey and my life in general and YouTube has this very good uh, format for it. It's it's like it will never disappear. It's very organized way to do it. And then there's like an extra plus that you have like people actually who look at your videos so you kind of are motivated to to continue doing your videos. So basically you don't get too lazy about it, right? So that's why I thought YouTube is a really good place to do it. And it has been. It's actually, I didn't expect the uh, people commenting. Like, I didn't think that I would be so moved by it and it would help me so much. Because sometimes I'm just so moved that I almost cry. I will never uh, admit that I actually cry. I'm struggling. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. My nails, I need to do my nails. Today I have no time for it. You have no idea how many times I forget mascara. <laughs> it's, like, it's almost like one out of three times when I do my makeup, I forget mascara. It's ridiculous. Like I feel like something is missing and I can't figure out which, what it is. Even though mascara should be like the only one that you really need. <laughs> After everything, like the only thing that... I'm done for today. I'm going to go get my MRI done. Oh, really quickly, why do I actually need MRI even though I just had bad CT scan? I forgot to say that. So um, I, um, I'm going to get MRI my, from my spine and pelvis only. And my goal just wants to really get a good idea where the cancer is in that area because uh, the first pains that I get, whenever I get pain, the first pain starts in my lower back in that area. And she's hoping uh, that MRI is going to give a very, very good idea about those, this area, about where the nerves are, where the cancer is specifically. And maybe she can like order radiation therapy for some area so we can reduce my overall pain in that location because the same way we did for my, my um, left thigh bone, basically. Not thigh bone, the, the, the bone, yeah, it's a thigh bone, the one that you stand on, right? So we did around that area and that hip, left hip, uh, last year, last summer, uh, we did radiation. And since then, I haven't had pain in that area at all, even though that was the worst pain location initially. Okay, done. I have to go run. Bye-bye. <laughs>